Hey there, it's Rob the Ignorant Entrepreneur coming off the coattails of my most successful video yet, a video about Saudi Arabia and the new line that's being built. Great graphics and representation, if I do say so myself. Extremely fascinating conversations being had. We're talking about what's the best way for the Middle East to transition as we start to move towards renewable energy and how bringing over tourism and investment through this new architecture and even just improving the people's lives, how that's going to be effective versus what currently is being done today. We're talking about the future, so it's all it's mostly speculation. But there it is on the top right if you want to open a link in a new tab and still listen to this. Because I'll tell you why you should listen to this. It doesn't really have to do much with liking shrimp or not. It's a concept that could allow anyone to be a shrimp farmer and make money. So for people that just like to be in the know, let's talk about the future of eating shrimp. With what I'm about to go over... There could be a lot more shrimp in our future without harming the environment and without skyrocketing prices for seafood. And this happens to be taking place in Mexico by Ataraya, creator of the product Shrimp Box. Now, before we get into what the heck is a shrimp box, I want to let you know that this is no shrimp market. This is a big market. Now, when I'm talking about a big market, I'm talking farm shrimp accounts for 55% of the shrimp produced globally, with most of the aquaculture occurring in China, followed by Thailand, Indonesia, India, and Vietnam, then Brazil, Ecuador, Bangladesh, generating substantial income for all these developing countries. Farming has made shrimp more accessible to shrimp lovers everywhere, especially in the US, Europe, and Japan, who wouldn't have those reserves naturally. So with a shrimp count of 21 by 25, a farmer will obtain at least a 14% profit margin in the $14 to $18 per pound price range with a high survival of 80%. Now, the sales price in some cases can be even more up to 46% profit at the $18 per pound price. So keeping all this in mind, the global shrimp market size in US dollars was $28.45 billion in 2020. All right. It's valued at $33.81 billion in 2021 and is projected to reach $53.63 billion in 2028. That displays a compound annual growth rate of 6.81% during the forecast period. What can I say? People love seafood and people love shrimp. So now that you know a little bit of the market, let's take a look at the farming. Now, this farming technology is supposed to be plug and play. Finding its roots in 2019, so really recent, and has actually been able to secure $3.9 million in a Series A funding with a new U.S. headquarters in Indianapolis. The company is claiming that it is the world's first technology of its kind, and Daniel Rusick, founder and CEO of Ataraya, told TechCrunch that Shrimpbox was the idea he got after college in 2005 when he started a non-government organization working with fishing communities. Now, that grew into an aquaculture farming technology with Rusick and his team creating a startup company around it called Maricultural Vigas. The company mainly focused on the biotechnology aspects of aquaculture, including the challenge of raising shrimp in a closed loop system. A closed loop system here refers to water and waste being reused. However, the aquatic life does need feed and some systems do drain solid waste so that it can be used elsewhere as fertilizer, for instance. So what you can probably surmise by what I've discussed so far, Russex is attempting to make the shrimp business more sustainable and efficient without destroying the environment. So yeah, in order to kickstart this, they raised some money, got some grants from the Mexican government, but quickly realized that the challenges were bigger than they initially anticipated. And that's when we get Ataraya. So the product, the shrimp box farm system, enables farmers to become aquaculture farming operators. This includes providing cargo containers that can be located even in landlocked areas and moved accordingly to suit production needs. This is where I think things get interesting. The three-pronged technology includes the bioflock technology, which creates an ideal environment to protect shrimp from disease so they can grow without the need for antibiotics or harsh chemicals and minimal need for water discharge. Then there is the software aspect that enables remote operation management of the production and workflow mapped out with data so it's easier to train and perform the farming task. And finally, artificial intelligence powered automation and engineering components are designed to remote monitor the water quality, regulate temperature and oxygenation and feed the shrimp. This is the shrimp box. The idea that you can have a shrimp box anywhere in the world and use this plug and play method to more effectively cultivate shrimp. So like I mentioned earlier with the 3.9 million in series A angel investment, the first shrimp box prototypes are currently being assembled in various cities throughout Mexico. And these demos are expected to cultivate in the partnership with the Indiana Economic Development Corp as well as having secured even more funding to date by Jeffrey Horing and a group of angel investors, including Mark K. Gormley, Joffrey Kalish, Robert Stavis, 
and Robert Goodman. Rusick said that this brings Ataraya's total funding to 10 million today. The company is doing real well considering that it grew its Mexican business by a factor of five between 2020 and 2021. Rusick expects Ataraya to begin an early adopter program in 2023 and will start scaling in the second half of the year. This is actually a quote by him. That growth has enabled us now to be in a very strong position to make an impact in the industry. Our goal is to create a new farming industry in the United States and to create infrastructure and technology that is easy to use as a laundry machine so that anybody can become a shrimp farmer, end quote. While Ataraya is working primarily with real shrimp, lab-grown and plant-based alternatives have also seen love from venture capital this year. For example, South Korea-based Cell Meat raised $8.1 million for lab-grown shrimp. So that's all I have for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been The Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.